Hey everybody, it's Mergle, and today in this one I'm going uh, to share some really good news um, to a problem that came with 735, right? And uh, that is forced personal loot. Now, I've talked about this in a couple previous videos. Some of you were curious, so I'm going to go on and explain what forced personal loot is in case you're unaware of what this is right now. So that way you understand why this solution is. It's really good. I like the solution. So um, anyways, let's just get into it. So forced personal loot. Um, to define that, it's 735 forced the personal loot system on every character at every level, no matter what, pretty much. You're forced into personal loot. So when I do a dungeon and I'm trying to farm transmog, I'm on the personal loot system, which cuts so many things out of my transmog you know, collection. There are items that I could use in my transmog set. Dagger, for example, I will show you from this dungeon. Uh, this is a good example. Um, that I could use, but I won't get it because the personal loot system dictates that I don't need that. So I'm going to show you here. And it also made it so bosses may not drop anything at all. Because if I don't roll the item that I can use off that boss, it's not going to drop anything. So we're going to kill this guy here and see if I can show you that. So here we go. But he dies. And there you go. I didn't receive a boss drop at all. I just got gold from him. So uh, that's a good example. Nothing happened. All right. And the forced personal loot system made that a problem. So let me show you the dungeon, okay? So we're going to go to Stockades here, and we're going to look at that boss, Randolph Molach, or Molokach, I don't know, Randolph. Now, there's two things that my specialization could collect as an appearance off this boss, a dagger and a noble's robe. These are two things I could collect, but in reality, the only thing that I actually can get from this boss is the noble's robe. Even though this is a dagger, and it's something warlocks can use and add to the transmog appearance tab, I won't ever get this item under the personal loot system. Because this gives agility. You can see up there, agility. Personal loot would dictate that I, as a warlock, am never going to use an agility dagger, so I shouldn't receive this item. So I can't collect it in my appearance tab. That's why forced personal loot made things a lot more difficult. Because you can kill a boss, and one, you may not get a single drop at all, and two, it can't give you drops from that boss, even if you can collect them, just because personal loot says you don't need that item. Sucks, right? So that is what forced personal loot is, for those of you curious about this. Now, the solution that came out with a post today on the forums, and I really like this solution. Uh, it's a pretty cool solution, actually makes you're gonna get more loot later but the solution won't come until battle for azeroth unfortunately so i'm gonna put something on your screen you can follow along if you'd like and um anyways ornix says this since the patch 735 changed to use personal loot rules in leveling dungeons we've heard a lot of feedback from transmog hunters because that's really who this affects right and uh concerned about this have affected the ability to collect appearances from older content. We hear you and agree it's a problem, so we've been working on a more robust solution for Battle for Azeroth. Again, it's unfortunate this has to wait till Battle for Azeroth. I'm not complaining, but this was really a, a something that wasn't a problem before, <laughs> and this change made it a problem, so I don't understand why you gotta wait. Anyways... Once these updates are implemented, enter a dungeon or raid that is trivial for you, i.e., example, your character is 10 or more levels higher than the dungeon or raid's intended level, will activate legacy loot mode. That loot mode will work like this. Now, to explain that, 10 levels or higher. I imagine this is after the scaling um, changes, so 10 levels above stockades would now be level 70, even though stockades used to be a level 20 dungeon. It now scales to 60, so you'd have to be 70 for that to activate. The same goes for, um, let's get, scroll out here, like, Cataclysm got turned into Mr. Pandaria scaling, so you're not going to be able to get legacy loot from Firelands until you're level 100. So, you've got to get, you know, if you're a max level character, pretty much you can activate legacy loot mode in, in every previous content so far. Um, continuing, so... 
the number of items dropped by bosses will be the same as if you have would have been in a group full party so you're if you're in a five player dungeon you'll get five players worth of loot all right so you know how you kill boss with personal loot on and you'll see two drops maybe I think I've seen three before maybe I'm crazy but I feel like you know bosses can drop more loot because of personal loot so this is actually beneficial you may kill a boss and get like three items where you used to only get one things like that now I think it could be repeat items because a player can receive the same item two different players right they both loot the boss they may get the same item so you're gonna get more loot because of this change and um, at the same time you may still get repeats but overall it's good that you're getting more stuff for raids with a flexible raid size such as raid finder this will act as if though there were 20 players in the raid so you're always getting counted as if you're in a max raid making LFR you know queuing up for the LFRs to get loot much more much superior than it is now it's actually pretty good this change again so I say I like this change it's a good change all items on the loot table will have a chance to drop not just the ones designated for your class this is pretty much the thing that fixes the personal loot problem because with personal loot you can't get certain items it just won't happen the game will say I can't receive this nor can I receive this I'm just not gonna get them it's not in my personal loot category so that fixes that you'll be able to get any item like before again this was something that wasn't an issue before but the personal loot system made it a problem um, if you have multiple players in the group the group the loot will be split among those players but be tradable so for example if you're clearing with one other player and the boss should drop four items you'll each be able to pick up two items and trade them between each other if you like so I'm running with Joe Joe gets two items I get two items but let's say I get two pieces of plate and Joe got two pieces of cloth Joe's gonna fork him over I would hope unless he wants to vendor him I mean he can but nothing I can do about it and then that's it while the personal loot change was a key part of what allowed us to expand leveling dungeons to encompass a wider range of levels and we're happy with that with it in that environment we recognize that it's not a great experience for those who enjoy clearing older content for transmog and I hope that these changes will make that more enjoyable once they're complete thanks again for all your feedback so that's that that's the fix to the leveling changes it's gonna be good stuff because I think if you're killing a boss and not seeing any kind of loot like not even one drop aside from gold that kind of removes the experience you know it's the RPG element right there if a boss isn't you're killing a boss because you're expecting some kind of loot right this ain't loot is it now so yeah there you go that that one fixes the transmog farming and two just the sheer issue with the fact that bosses weren't dropping anything the only problem is gotta wait till battle for Azeroth hopefully they come around and implement it much sooner than that because we're looking at like you know an August release date at this rate um, at least that's why I feel like it's fallen under so it will come in a while but at least it's coming thank you for watching I hope you enjoy I hope this is good news to some of you and I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.